Hello and welcome to this introduction to the use of spectral remote sensing for detection of insect stress. Remote sensing relates to the science of deriving information about the target without direct contact with it. In entomology, the target is usually a plant, and spectral relates to the use of electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is typically generated by nuclear reactions within the sun. It travels through space by waves, passes through Earth's atmosphere and may reach Earth's surface. Electromagnetic radiation can also be artificially generated by spectral radiometers or conventional bulbs. The electromagnetic spectrum is composed of thousands of wavelengths arbitrarily divided in six spectral ranges. In entomology, visible and infrared are the most common spectral ranges associated with insect injury. Visible light is absorbed inside the plant cell by chloroplasts. A healthy plant typically absorbs about 90% of the radiant flux of visible wavelengths. The remaining 10% is mostly reflected in the absence of stress, but it can also be transmitted through the lower surface of the leaf. Feeding of sucking insects, such as aphids, typically decrease the absorption of visible light. Consequently, infested leaves are likely to reflect more energy within the visible spectrum than plants with no insects. The plant reflectance of infrared wavelengths is affected differently by insects. Insect stress is likely to decrease the reflectance of infrared wavelengths. This graph summarizes the expected effect of insects on plant reflectance. The y-axis is the plant reflectance across different wavelengths of the x-axis. Aphid-infested plants, the yellow line on this graph, reflect more visible energy than aphid-free plants. Within the infrared spectral range, aphid-infested plants reflect less energy than aphid-free plants. Innovative scouting methods based on remote sensing has the potential to decrease costs and increase the efficacy of pest management. Remote sensing may also reduce the environmental impact of insecticides by providing information for localized sprays. Current research results indicate that remote sensing holds potential for pest detection. However, a lot is still needed to bring remote sensing to growers. In Minnesota, we believe that remote sensing is the game changer that will revolutionize the way that crops are managed. That ends the presentation. Here are some references for additional information. You can also obtain updates of our research at the MNIROAG Facebook page.